Welcome to this free SolidWorks tutorial from iDesignCAD. In this video we will take a look at how to copy a surface from a part, into another part. In this example we want to create a foil onto the case from these two surfaces. But for the part list to be correct, the foil needs to be in its own separate part in the assembly. Go to File, and select, Make Assembly from Part. Insert the part you want to copy from, into the assembly. Then create a new part, and insert it into the assembly. The technique shown, can also be used on existing parts, in an existing assembly. Leave the part empty and insert it, so the origin match the assembly. This is the part we will copy the surface into. The assembly now consists of an empty part, and the part we want to copy the surface from, make sure to save the assembly. Left click on the empty part, and select, Edit Component. Notice the other part becomes transparent, that's because only the empty part is active. Go to Surfaces in the Workbench, and select, Offset Surface. Notice it says, Offset Surface when a distance is set. Change the distance to 0 mm, to change it to, Copy Surface. Then select the two surfaces we want to copy to the empty part. Click the green OK to create the copy into the empty part. Now the part is not empty anymore, it contains a copy of the two surfaces from the other part. Exit the edit component. To see the copied surfaces, hide the other part. Or simply open the part in a new window. The surface is connected to its parent part. So if the parent part is changed, the copied surface will follow. The copied surface can now be used as a foundation for the new part, to ensure it contains the same curvature. A thickness of 0.1 mm, can be added to the copied surface, in this case, to create a foil. In the assembly, we can see the result. The foil is now a separate part in the assembly, and the part list will be correct. Thank you for watching a free tutorial from iDesignCAD.com.